Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another homemaking day in the life. I've got my coffee in my wonderful snowflake mug. It is a beautiful, sunny, negative two Fahrenheit degree day. So it is an inside day for me. The girls are with um, someone else this morning, so I'm actually going to tackle decluttering some of their clothes for you today. And I am just going to bring you along today as I do a few projects, as I also look through my garden seeds to see what I need to get new of because I am really having the itch to do some um, garden planning and getting those started. Of course, I won't start my seeds for several more months, but I am looking forward to going through and seeing what I need to order and what I need to get what I already have and see what worked last year as well. And then I'm gonna make some homemade mac and cheese with some ham in it for supper tonight because I cooked a whole ham this beginning of last week um, here. And so I want to use that up. So I'm going to just do some homemaking. So come along today as we just enjoy a cozy day in. All right, so my oldest has clothes and this whole thing, all of it is hers. And she has stuff in the hanging, um, in the closet hanging. So I just am ready to have less options because as a almost three year old, she likes to pick out her clothes and it's just kind of hard. So sometimes things don't get folded, they get thrown in here because she's picking things out and I will guide her in her choices. It's just, they like to make their own choices and clothes is something that I think is fine for her to make a choice in what she wears at this stage of life. So I'm gonna go through, get rid of some long sleeves, I think, some of the pants that may not fit. Um, I already took out a few pairs of pajamas that she has in the bottom, and then I need to go through her hanging dresses. <music> So in the top drawer, I didn't get rid of too much. She is in between 3T and 4T, so I kind of need to keep a few transitions, but um, I get a lot of hand-me-downs from my sister, and so I don't buy anything new hardly at all. And like this jogger suit set was a Christmas gift new. Um, everything else was hand-me-down, or I guess like this was new for Christmas. But there's a few 3T, a few 4T long sleeves so i have like four there three there and then this is a like a black church long sleeve to go under a dress and then one t-shirt in the back and then she has two pairs of jeans um so she's got these sparkly pair more for dressing up and then she likes her sweatpants and leggings so she has one two three four five of those and then she has a pair on now to her pajamas and socks she does enjoy her pajamas and this is the only there's two new sets she has but she's got five um separate pajamas and then i just have a basket for her socks and then underwear is right there and then she has two um, footy pajamas that she likes to wear. So that is her drawer setup. So these are going to be donated. These are going to be tucked in a bin. I can't find those socks. And so, yeah, these will go down to her bin. And that's it so far. So now to her closet. And then up here, she has her dresses. Now, um, like these ones were more Christmassy and they were just given to her in December from her cousin. She has a couple cousins who are just like a half a year older than her. These two are new. This one might fit her. This one looks like it's going to be short. I bought that new. Um, and then this one for sure is coming down. And that is a 5T I found thrifting that I really just liked and did not want to get rid of. So I need to go through and I'm going to take a few of the Christmas ones down. <music> these 
shampoo, this fleece one, and then this one, she runs a little wider and it's very narrow, so, and that won't fit till summer anyways. This one she loved, but it's gonna be short. And then these two are a little bit too short too. So, got that, and then I'm gonna get rid of this nursing, um, like boppy type thing I had in this closet because I really didn't use it for very long with both my girls, so time to sell it. So here's the setup for my daughter Nadia's clothes. She is in the pack and play in our room right now still. So she's just got some pants here, her long sleeves, and two pairs of pajamas. Have this bin up in our closet of some clothes. So I've gone through this. I go through it pretty regularly because babies grow quickly, as you all probably know. So they're in things for like two or three weeks. But there's a few things in here I know I like this. These are brand new. I'm gonna, I have a pair myself. I'm gonna give to a friend who has a daughter who is the same size as Nadia. These little booties, they are now too small. This dress will stay in here. Just little things. Oh, this pajama set she should be wearing now. Um, this was a gift from a grandma. It's gonna be too small already, so I'll probably just tuck that in a bin for potential children. Um, yeah, just a few things to go through here. She also got all of these adorable dresses for Christmas. They're all 12 month. Now, my daughter is 8 months old, but they'll fit her right now. I am actually going to give one or two of them to a friend who has a daughter who's going to be one who is in size 12 month right now. So these are brand new and so I'm just going to re-gift. Um, let me know if you do that in the comments. If it's brand new, I definitely will do that at some times. And I know that some people don't feel right about that, but she does not need four dresses there and then if you saw me go through she has one two three uh four five dresses there and they're all 12 month so she definitely does not need all of those so one or two of these is going to go to a couple of our friends who have little girls too <music> Again, a missing sock and then I'm gonna sell all of this and I'll look through the six to nine month tote that I have downstairs and see what else I can pair with that and then I can actually see everything in here this dress for sure I'm gonna keep I'll probably have her wear it this Sunday and so I can see everything in there really well I moved some of her 12 month long white onesies into the drawer over there so I think we're set on decluttering kids clothes oh and this is full to take down to the basement. And then I'm gonna take my wrap downstairs because I really don't carry her in a wrap anymore. So I went through my tote of Nevaeh's clothes and I found this lot that I'm gonna be selling. So definitely, like I said, sell some things as a lot because they will go much faster if you offer shipping for sure. So just taking a few pictures of those and then I'm gonna move on to my next task. Okay, so now I'm going to be in the kitchen for a little bit. My sourdough starter is nice and bubbly. I'm going to make some bread dough with my whole wheat flour. I'm still trying to work on that because it's a very dense bread with whole wheat. Um, I know white flour seems to work a little bit better. And then I am going to do some sourdough cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to be here in the kitchen for just a while and then I think I'm going to get to my seeds.
right, so I have got my dough here for bread, my dough here for rolls. This will hopefully be able to be made tonight, and so will this. Um, it's relatively warm in our kitchen. It says up to 24 hours for this one and 4 to 12 for this one. So if I need to move it to a warmer location, I can put it on our oven because I'll probably have to turn that on later today um, or put it by a heater or something. So uh, when it's cold out like this, you definitely need a little extra time for dough to rise. So I've got my latte made. I have my notebook and I have my kind of now unorganized box of seeds that I had from last year. I haven't gone through it since I put everything away after planting and harvest time and seed saving. So it is time to go through, figure out what I'm going to grow, <clears throat> what I'm going to get rid of, and what I'm going to get. But there's just some things I know I won't grow. Our squashes are awful for squash bugs, so I have decided this year I'm not going to grow squashes. I might try just butternut squash because those are hardy against squash bugs and acorn squash. Other things, it's sad. I love growing pumpkins and seeing them grow, but I can't because the squash bugs just get to them. Whether I use chemical, whether I use organic, whether I go out and pick them off every morning, I just can't keep it at bay. So on my list, I'm just going to keep track of what I had last year that worked well and then go through and see what I am going to want to get for getting seeds tomorrow. I wanted to mention what I meant by getting seeds tomorrow is I went to a local farm who raises organic crops. They had a bunch of seeds they were giving away for free last fall and they still had a ton left over. So I went to the farm and got multitudes of packets of seeds. Not everything on my list, but quite a few. Um, it was wonderful because they were free. I think they were the Burpee brand, if I remember correctly. I have all a lot of my tags from a lot of my flowers I've saved, and I like to keep those so I know what I liked from last year. So I'm going to stick those in this box. And as you can tell, it's just a box from somewhere I had, so it doesn't have to be cute and special, but it sure can be. And then I just wrote down some of the things I want to get. Um, I saved the empty seed packets too from last year because I know what ones I liked and um, that way if I need to reorder, I can sure do that. So I'm just going to stick everything back in here. I threw a bunch of empty bags away though too. I, got, I have a list of the things I want to get. I'm tucking things back in here, saving my random pot here, putting all my saved flower seeds in here. And that way it's all set for when I come to planting seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna make some slow cooker mac and cheese tonight. I found this one online, I'm gonna try it. Um, there were some mixed reviews on it, like the noodles got really mushy, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, I'll let you know obviously how it works out, but I'm going to use my food processor to grate all the cheese that is needed. Here it is after a little over an hour. I need to stir it and make sure all the noodles get immersed otherwise they're gonna get crunchy on top. So I'm going to add chunks of ham to the mac and cheese because I, like I said, cooked a whole ham um, beginning of the week. And the mac and cheese, I'm just stirring pretty regularly. Uh, as it's starting to stick a little bit. Noodles are almost done. You don't want it to get too mushy. So I'm just gonna add a little more paprika, I think, for a little taste and the ham will add some more to it all right so the taste is really good 
I put some paprika on top and then we're just gonna have a side salad with it and some fruit. So very simple. I think this recipe actually worked quite well. I did have to stir it after about an hour and a half every 10 minutes and it is definitely ready by now within about two and a half hours. The girls in the bed, my in bed, my husband is at Bible study and Nadia is teething, so it's kind of back and forth. But the bread is in the oven. There is Nadia. And I'm going to um, long ferment the sourdough cinnamon rolls just a little bit longer. So that'll happen tomorrow morning. But those cinnamon rolls will turn out beautifully as they always do. I use Farmhouse on Boone's recipe. But, anyways, I better let you go and get my little one. <laughs> 